Hello, everybody. Andrea Maeska here with Dental L. So what do you do after your child has had a negative experience at the dental office? So it could be because of a number of different things. It could be because they had come in, they had a cavity, that's it, but that just seemed to just traumatize them, right? Maybe they saw the needle, maybe they just you know, we're having a bad day and didn't do well. So now they don't wanna to go to the dentist at all. They might be kicking, screaming, the whole works. It could have even just been bef before that when they had heard from, from you or seen from you or somebody they know that the dentist office is a bad place. So they might just not want to go. So I have seen that many, many times where parents come to me and say, my child's four years old. They haven't seen a dentist before, but they're terrified. Like, what do I do? You know? So let me just offer you guys some advice. Now I do see a lot of kids. Um, most of my patients are kids, it seems. Not every day, but most days. I just see a lot of kids. So I have learned a lot. And kids, thankfully, seem to like me. Um, I don't think I've ever had a child, you know, be afraid of me, be nervous, and not want to come back. So I take that as a good sign. So sometimes, so let's just say your child has been to the dentist before and they did have some bad experiences. So they might have had a cavity, they might have had many cavities, they, they, they might have seen the needle, they don't like the needle, whatever, right? Um, it could have been anything because kids are kids, it could be anything. So what do you do? You know, just try to, you know, act as positive as possible, but also... I suggest going somewhere new, okay? Because if you keep taking them back to the same place and say things like, oh, well, that won't happen again, well, it might happen again if they get a cavity, right? Just take them somewhere new and say, oh, my friend Andrea or, you know, whoever. Don't call them the dentist. Don't call them the doctor. Don't call them the hygienist. Say, oh, well, we are going to see my friend Andrea today, and she is going to look at your teeth. You know, that's it. She will polish them. It will be so much fun. We are so lucky to have her, you know, um, and that's what's nice for me is that people love seeing me because I can come to your home because I have a mobile dental hygiene practice where I come to you. And with kids, I love it. I have toys. I have coloring books. I have all kinds of exciting things, okay, for them. So if they do a good job, I like to give them a toy afterwards. I have a lot of, you know, toys. They can pick one thing. Plus, they get their own toothbrush and toothpaste. And I do, you know, talk to them the whole time. So even if they've been to the dentist office many, many times before, I will still show them everything. Like I will pick up a, you know, non-sharp instrument and say to them, oh, hey, see this? This is what I will be using to, you know, touch all of your teeth, kind of like that. You know, see how it doesn't even, you know, you, you can hardly even tell. And they go, oh yeah, you know what, cool. And then I show them my polisher and say, you know, this is what I use to polish. And in fact, it does even, you know, tickle a little bit. And then, and then they go, he, 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 you know, they love it. So I do show them everything. I take my time with them. I'm nice, but I am also firm, you know, so they can't push me around, but I am nice about it too, because I, I will not see anybody who's, you know, kicking, screaming, the whole works, because I want them to have a good experience. So if you've had issues with that before, let me know, and then I am more than happy to help, because I come to you. So if you have one kid, two kids, three kids, heck, I can see them all, one after another. It, it doesn't matter if they're three years old, 10 years old, 18 years old, it doesn't matter because I come to you. Plus, it's a lot easier for you too. You know, like I can be cleaning somebody's teeth. You can be having your coffee. Heck, you could be having a nap, you know, you could be watching TV, you could be cooking lunch, you know, whatever it is, I don't mind because I come to you and it's just so much easier for you. Heck, it's easier for me. It's easier for the kids, 
everybody. And that's where things are, are at now. You know, we like things to be convenient. But for kids especially, it's just so much nicer for them because it's something new. They probably haven't heard of, you know, their best friend having their teeth cleaned at home, you know, so that's kind of exciting. You know, it gives them something to talk about. It's something new. It's something different. And anytime that they see or hear of something new, they go, oh, you know what? Cool. So they don't think they're going to the doctor, going to the dentist because they're seeing me at their house. So if that helps you guys, but you know, just with anything, if your child's nervous, it doesn't matter how old they are, just be as positive as possible. Keep on saying, you know, oh, this is easy. You know, don't mention the word needle. Do not mention the word hurt. Do not, you know, say things like, if you get a cavity, you're in big, big trouble. You know, just don't say anything like that. Just tell them, hey, um, Andrea's here to just have a look. She will polish the teeth and, and then, you know, we will go from there. If they have a cavity, we will go from there. But I like to keep everything positive. Again, it doesn't matter how old or how young your uh, child is. I am more than happy to help them out. Okay. So I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to comment below. I am so, so happy to help. And thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next one.